Hello guys, today I want to show you some tricks with PHP Artisan Migrate. There are four interesting flags and parameters to add to that PHP Artisan Migrate. Maybe you know all of them, maybe some of them will be new. So let's take a look. The first one is probably the most well known, is that you can run seeds with migrations. So if you do PHP Artisan Migrate and seed, it would automatically run everything that is in database seeder. In my case, it's creating 10 fake users. So if I run that migrate with seed, we have three migration tables and seeding database. And if you have more seed classes, they would be listed here. So this is one flag, migrate with seed. Now let's roll back what I did now, and I will show you another option. So as you just saw, I've migrated and rolled back three migrations. So if I just do that, how migrations are saved in the database. There's a database table called migrations listing everything that was already executed. So this comes from default Laravel. And now if I refresh, we have three migrations executed, which means they will not be executed again if I run PHP Artisan Migrate. So if I run it again, it will say nothing to migrate because it's checking within this table. And this number is important. This was one batch numbered two. It's auto incremented every time you run PHP Artisan Migrate. And if I run PHP Artisan Migrate rollback, it will try to roll back all the migrations from the last batch. So let's do exactly that. And I will show you an option that allows you to have different batches, one for each migration. So see this number two, if I launch PHP Artisan Migrate step, then it would execute those three migrations like it did the last time. But if we refresh the table, as you can see, the batches are two, three, and four. And now if I run migrate rollback, only one migration would be rolled back. So if you want to separate those migration files, one per batch, there is an option called step. Another option is useful if you want to pretend running the migrations, but do not actually execute them. In other words, you want to know what actual SQL queries would be executed if you run migrations. For that, you do pretend. If we run that now, it will show us the SQL query for creating table posts, but it would not actually execute that. It's good for testing before launching the migrations. And the last option I wanted to show you is called force. It's usually used on production environments to avoid terminal asking you to confirm that you need to run the migrations on production. And I've opened .env file, and even although it's a local thing, I changed .appenv to production. And then if we try to run just PHP Artisan Migrate on that production server, production environment, it will ask us, do you really want to run this command? which is good, Laravel is protecting us, but if you have automated scripts for deployment, whether it's through Laravel Forge or Envoyer or any other tool, so you're not actually running PHP Artisan Migrate from the terminal, some script on the server is doing that for you. And then that script would stop immediately as they see that prompt. So to avoid that on production servers, it is a typical practice to run PHP Artisan Migrate force, which would avoid that prompt and automatically kind of tell the server, yes, I want to run that migration. That is executed if your app ENV is production, which is usually on production servers. So yeah, four options of PHP Artisan Migrate. Was any of them new to you? Share in the comments below. And just general, if you want to find out such flags and options for any artisan command, you may run PHP Artisan whatever, like Migrate, and then dash dash help and it will list all the possible options with their explanations. So there are other options for PHP Artisan Migrate. I've just picked the most used and most interesting ones. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.